The discovery of the CADHERIN-2 or CDH2 gene was announced at a media conference at the University of Cape Town. CDH2 causes arrhythmiogenic right ventricle cardiomyopathy, which is a genetic disorder that predisposes young people to cardiac arrest. A condition believed to claim the lives of more than five young South Africans a day. Professor Bongani Mayosi and his team at UCT conducted a study on more than 60 South African families over a period of 20 years, trying to detect the genetic cause of sudden death in people younger than 35. What helped us was the improvement in technology to identify genetic mutations. Human beings have about 25,000 genes. This gene could have been in any one of those 25,000 genes. So what we were doing was detective work of finding a needle in a haystack. The CDH2 gene was discovered by PhD student Dr. Mariam Fish and her colleagues at the Heart Center at UCT in conjunction with a team of medical researchers in Italy. It took two years to screen one gene, right? With this new technology and the help of the Italians, we were able to screen thousands of genes within a matter of hours. And that's where our team came in. One of our team members was Mariam, doing a PhD at the time. Um, two years to actually find the final piece of the puzzle, which was CDH2. Some in the scientific community are calling the discovery of the CDH2 gene the biggest breakthrough in South African cardiology since Professor Christian Barnard's first heart transplant in Cape Town 50 years ago. They say this knowledge has the potential to save the lives of many young people who suffer from heart muscle disease. Once we identify a mutation in a new gene, as we have done now, this allows us to identify within two, three weeks all the members in the family who carry the same mutation, and we can begin a treatment much earlier, thus preventing a number of sudden deaths. The problem of sudden death is so much more common than the problem of heart failure that Barnard was trying to solve with a heart transplant. So the significance of it for the population is huge and in terms of preventing any loss of life in large numbers of people. So the hope is that when we do the science in these families, we will then develop the tools that will prevent sudden death in millions of people uh, in the world. Professor Mayosi says now that his paper on the CDH2 gene has been published, he hopes the test for the gene mutation will soon be available to those who need it. Rene Dalcom, CGTN, Cape Town, South Africa.